Oh, you're, oh, what, the mental health part? Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking, the guys, and they're low income. We already know that, so, you know. You, you met two out of three criteria. That's, you know, this, this young lady, she was so shy about coming up. You shouldn't be so shy. Oh, I, I, got, I totally got tricked into this. But you know what? I, wanted, I, have to, I have to thank this man here for giving us, our organization, the opportunity to reach out to the community because we know that we want to help, and you are the channel that makes this happen. And, you know, it's a collaborative work environment, right? If, if, if it weren't for this opportunity, we would not be able to deliver to... to let the community know that we're here. That's for sure, because you know, let me tell you, when we went to that meeting last week, that was the first thing I ever heard of, of this organization, and I thought, well, you know, that's a shame. We gotta get the message out there, because there's a lot of people who can take advantage of it that don't know it exists. So, you know, and it's a really, really sad story. So you've been at this for how long? Um, I'm fairly new to this, about a month and a half, um, but our program has been around for about seven months. Was seventh month into the, uh, the grant project. Uh, we have made some great uh, improvements in the lives of some of our patients. For example, I remember there was once, um, I, when I first started, I was quite shocked. A patient came into our office and crying and talking to us, telling her stories for three and a half hours, literally three and a half hours. Wow. And in, through the process, we understand because we know we're there to help, we're there to listen. We want to make sure that we're providing an eye out, you know, an ear for the patients. And in order to help these patients improve in a faster, in a timely manner, we integrate the whole system. We have the providers, healthcare, uh, family doctors, as well as um, psychological um, mental health professionals to help patients improve. Let's get a round of applause for that, man. That's a worthwhile venture. And I don't mean a pun on that. That is so that is so good, you know. And you guys are located. You said off Flair Drive in uh, in Baldwin, right? Right, Baldwin Place. A Baldwin Place. See, I'm I'm learning. I'm learning, folks. You know how it is. But that's great, you know. And uh, you know, we talked uh, before Wendy and I, and I was telling her how desperately we wanted to do like a health oriented program here. And she says she's considering hosting it for us, which I think will be an awesome undertaking because it'd be good for your business, it'd be good for our community. And I think that'd be really good. So, how do Okay, the low income, so what, do they have to be like a Medi-Cal or just pr have proof that they don't receive any income, or how does that work? Well, one of the services we offer at our site is that we have uh, enrollment workers, outreach workers that will work with individuals to help them to maximize the different health insur different insurance plans. For example, they say we'll help them enroll into Medi-Cal if they qualify, um, Healthy Way LA, um, family, et cetera. Right. So we have individuals we have workers on site to help those patients so uh, in a sense think of it as a hands-on um, care we ca tailor our service mm -hmm. to the needs of the community of the patient and we also have other um, programs that will help these individuals who have uh, financial difficulties to work out the best way of um, receiving that care well that's fantastic let's see you have a number how do people get a hold of you i just gotta get that um, out is Wait. this the number right here, or that's just your number? Oh, that, that is our main site's uh, Oh, that's number. the number? Okay, that's uh, area code 323-644-3880. Number once again, area code 323-644-3880. That's great. So uh, what did you do before this? I'm just a little curious. No, actually, um, I worked with uh, numerous organization, government organizations, uh, from, from the federal government to international governments as well as uh, local municipal government. So okay. home, Homeland Security, uh -oh. city That's manager's office, leaving. right? Homeland Security. <laughs> Wait, let okay, me pull that back. Exit's right there. <laughs> Rewind. Let me, let me take that back. Um, um, growing up in Northern California, okay, it's given me that, um, in, that environment, that opportunity to pursue education at UCLA, where I sort of did a dual degree master and bachelor's program. In between, I went to study and worked and lived overseas in Asia, Europe, and Australia. So through that sort of uh, sort of uh, fast pace, um, a little a taste of uh, a little bit of everything, I gained my um, understanding of um, un understanding of helping the local community. That is the key. That's my mission because I'm. I'm not there to gain anything. I'm there to help out. The best way to gain more is to pay it forward first. Yeah, and, and through that process, you know, I learned to, to understand the individuals coming from different backgrounds, going from, you know, that little Asian girl selling flowers on the street 
corner during holidays to eight years later um, working at the Scottish Parliament as an intern, I've learned to understand individuals and, and especially underserved individuals coming from different backgrounds. And I, for that reason, I, I learned to appreciate the opportunities available in this land of freedom and liberty. And in that, in that sense, as a beneficiary of the opportunities, um, I believe that it's extremely important for individuals to give back, to make a difference in that community. And that, you know, in that sense, my personal mission is to really showcase the meaning of true beauty. It, for the true beauty really expands beyond physical attractiveness. It embodies one's passion, mo compassion, and motivation. Her passion for, you know, for serving the community, passion to help those less fortunate. And most importantly, you know, I think it's a motivation to make, it, make the world a better and brighter place. And this is why um, we're here, really. Um, Asian Pacific Healthcare Venture is that organization, that nonprofit community health center that really cares about the patient's um, improvement. We, we want to make sure that um, patients are improving and we are there for you. We do everything we could to make sure that you are uh, and you feel that you are our priority. You know, let's have a round of applause for this young lady. I mean, Thank you. she's either very sincere or she's running for office. So I really <laughs> appreciate it. You know, the problem with you is you need to be more ambitious. You know, um, you know, you're, the little girl selling flowers, it made me think of Augie because he used to sell flowers. Hey, he I, I know. Him, he came out of people's yards, though. That was the difference. <laughs> I, I could give you a <laughs> <Selling back home>. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know, I was selling flowers, uh, you know, looking back 10 years ago, I was selling flowers. I knew three words in English. Um, hello, how are you? And thank you, thank you. So I think, you know, that process, so I've been there and I understand how it feels to really have somebody come up to you to let you know that, you know what, I want to help you. I want to see you improve physically, psychologically, and I want to see you succeed in life. Oh, fantastic. This is wonderful. I can't imagine she only knew three <laughs> words. You know, I, I, you know, it's incredible. See that, Augie? There's hope for you, man. <laughs> oh, I know. See, there, you already got your first uh, volunteer right here. Yeah, Bob DeSena, you know, that's that's big time now. You, you moved up in the rankings, man. I need all the help I can get. Yes, right. I can tell. We'll make sure we do our best. See that? Yeah. Well, it's a teamwork. It's, a, it's teamwork, and who says miracles can't happen? But let me tell you, that number once again is area code 323-644-3880. You want to ask for Wendy? Wonderful person. And let me tell you, she's salt of the earth, and we're really blessed to have you on the show. Thank you very much, well, darling. Thank you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. No problem. Don't go away because, you know, like I said, eventually we're going to get you on a health show over here. We want you to do it once a month. Could you do that for us? Thank you. We love that. Okay, we're going to turn it over to the Bob DeSena Band here on Almani tonight on that happy, uplifting, positive note. We're going to... Just nail it home right here with Bob DeSena and Latin Jazz Band. Almani tonight. Take it away.
you better soak those uh, in water right now. I think they're burning up, dude. I'm sorry, man. That was going too fast, man. I was watching it. Actually, there was not special effects. He actually does move that quick. Uh, Mario, our next guest, want to know what was the name of that instrument? Because it doesn't look like a, a trumpet per se. Is there a special name? Oh, no, the, the horn. Oh, well, this. Uh, this is a flute horn. What about uh, this one right here? This here? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, good. There it is. An honest man. I love it. Like the kibasa. I think I'm motivated. I'm going to take that up. Oh, there it is, man. You got a new member of your band here. Oh, I just bought it. That's all. Oh, that's all. I think I'm going to take that instrument up from now on. <laughs> no, let me tell you. Bob the Center, we're going to do an interview with him in a little bit. I told the guys, you know, this normally is a one hour show. We're running long. I said, you know what? Let's keep going. We got too much information, too much talent. And then. Uh, Bob's going to close off the show, and i got to interview him because i got to find out where he's going to be performing next to let everybody know. But right now, we got Mario Rodriguez from WorkSource LA Works. A round of applause for this young man here. Yes, thank you for having me on the show, Arturo. No problem, Mario. So what's the latest? What's going on at WorkSource? Man, are you going to get people jobs? Well, I, I actually, I, Eduardo doesn't know this, your camera guy. He found out he volunteers here. I got an interview scheduled for him at ESPN. So he's wow. so you're gonna have That's to find a new yeah, volunteer yeah. there. Oh man, you're gonna, gonna make him cry. Look at him. He's gonna do the top ten plays. He's gonna have to travel a lot, but he'll be. He'll no, be look at him, man. I mean, he's blushing in his dark skin, <laughs> man. Come on. You know, see, that's the problem with Chicanos are Moreno. You know, when they blush, they, they don't turn pink. They turn look like grapes. But you know, look at he does. He goes, look at him, man. That's fantastic, bro. Well, the, you know, that's you know. He, let me tell you, he's one of our best. He was one of our original uh, interns, the six of them that came from Almani High School. And he's the last man standing. He still keeps coming. You think he would learn by now, huh? <laughs> but it, it paid off. And that's what I told these guys. You know, you, you've got to pay your dues. You know, I know the guys in the band, they know that. It, it's all about paying your dues all the time. You know, we've got some other young people here that are going to be, uh, I know they're going to be all-stars eventually. So what else is going on, Mario? What's the latest out there? Well, one of the reasons here is because one of the things that LA Works does best is we get people jobs. And um, so um, I'm reaching out to employers in, this, in the city of Almani, especially. i got a lot of people who are looking to get employed here. But we have a really good incentive program. And the way I, I get people jobs is very easy. I put people into work for two months for free. Okay. So you hire them for two months. Right. They're free for two months. We cover the salary, the workers' comp, liability. After those two months, you can decide if you want to keep somebody or not. And if you decide to keep them, then um, for if they work full time for each month that they work full time, we'll send you a check for five hundred fifty dollars to reimburse you part of the salary. Beautiful. And we'll do that for an additional four months because we'll do whatever it takes to get someone employed. Well, see, that makes sense. You know, uh, you you put people in there, you train good people. Yes. They work it out. Hey, man, you got a good worker there for life. And if the person's working, they're paying taxes. That goes back into the system. And it brings up our economy in the long run. There you go. That's there fantastic, you go. man. You know, you remember the CETA program? Are you old enough to remember CETA? Yeah, definitely. That's what this program's under. It's uh, it used to be CETA, then JTPA, and now it's the Workforce Investment Act. Okay, that was uh, yeah the WIA. WIA. See, they yeah. have all these nice little you know <laughs> initials. I mean, CETA was Comprehensive Employment Training Act, and that was what they used to do. See, correct me if I'm wrong. Back then, it was so good. It was like 18 months that put you on there, and they would pay half the salary. And the idea was that the employer would keep you, and once they keep you, they would get a tax credit for employing it back then, if, uh, if I'm correct. But, you know, because I knew a lot of people that got on that, and psh, they're still working right now for DPSS. Well, that's how I got hired on to LA Works. In fact, I'm still on that program. They haven't hired me yet, but I just keep showing up. Hire them. Yeah, Hire the man, please. I, don't. I just show up, and uh, they just give me an office, and I keep working. And hopefully in a year Tell or two. Tell the truth, Mario. Is the doors open when you show up? Or is it? It's, okay. It's, it's <laughs> got security. <laughs> they have my picture on the... Yeah. I'm surprised City Hall let me in here. Oh, well, see, they but, didn't uh, know you. Yeah, man. they did. They didn't. See, you well, wear actually, a tie. That's all you have to do is wear a tie. You actually, it. we are honoring at our annual breakfast the City of Almani Human Resources for the work that they do in the City of Almani with the process. It, it, people don't realize what a process it is to hire. I was talking to Wendy right before the show, and she's... Um, a shy trouble. little girl? Yeah, yeah there's a shy girl. She was telling me her organization sometimes when they're trying to hire somebody, it's a hard time. It's a hard time finding the right fit. And so that's what we do at LA Works. We we help businesses. And, and again, all our services are free. So we don't, we're not here to make money. We're here, we're here to get people employed. In fact, we'll, we, we give money back to, to employers. So we're hoping that, um, you know, businesses in the city of Almani will call us so we can get people from the city of Almani into jobs. Well, let's get a round of applause for this young yeah. man. Come on. Hey, Mike. 
Might even get some of the band members some work. Oh, they don't want to work. Look at that, man. <laughs> They're too musical, man. You know, well, I don't know. Maybe Augie. Augie, yeah. Work for food. I will go. work for food. Hey, man, you know, you better stop working then. <laughs> Look at little. I should talk, but I know. So I know for once I speak. Yeah, hijo. Well, that's fantastic. In fact, I got a friend I'll send to you, man. You know, um, after the show, I, I know somebody could probably benefit from your services. But uh, that's great. You know, like I was mentioning, we were talking before we went on the air, uh, the fact that we used to have an employment show here, and we want to yes. start it up again. I was thinking if you'd be interested in participating in that. Definitely, definitely. You know, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Yeah, so you can bring in some of your job leads, yep. mention them on the air, and then we can maybe get people to contact us vis-a-vis -vis through letter. Now we can go on Twitter. We're on uh, YouTube. We're on Google+. Plus, we're on all these uh, sources, Facebook. We've got a page just for Lion Vision Channel 3, and I'll, I'll read it off before we're through. We'll and do. you can contact you. Yeah, we'll do even better. We'll bring the employers here. See, there you go, man. Now we have a chance. Yeah, yeah man. Right. We'll start putting people to work there, man. You know, we'll get, you know, help send Bob the center to college. So, you know, we'll, we'll get him going, man. You have to say you don't need a new cameraman, though. No, I know. Well, that's okay. You know, it's, you know, we always got to argue. We need to argue. We bring him out here. That, that way he doesn't have to sell flowers anymore. You know, we love that, man. But, no, that's fantastic. No, we'd like to do that show, and we'll talk about it after we get, um, get through here tonight. I'll just mention it, and we'll set up a meeting, because I'm planning a major meeting of all the potential producers uh, for our future shows, because we've got a lot of shows coming up. We've got a sports show coming up. My buddy Louis Men is going to be hosting that, bringing up some of the local talent, perform uh, was it, um, athletes and retired athletes. We also have a new show, like our own version of The View, called Las Comadres, and it's going to be coming on up, and it's going to be, you're not going to believe the show, because we've got some real, very opinionated young ladies that are going to be coming your way. We also have our own version of California Gold, it's going to be hosted by buddy Keith Allen Silva. He's also going to be doing a, a veteran show. And they're going to be exploring the history of Almani. We'll be covering that as well. So we've got quite a few shows that are going to be coming uh, your way in the near future here on Beautiful Almani Channel 3. And hopefully we'll get that employment show going. And that I know that'll just put us over the top. Everybody's just going to love that stuff. Because, you know, th we'll be healthy. And that's what our channel's for. This is what it's about. There you go. Well, if there's any employers out there who want some free labor for two months... Uh you can give me a call, my office, or if you call the city hall, Jamie Neri, she answers. She has my contact information. And uh, you can also reach me at LA Works. You mean the voice of Almani? You can contact her? Oh, my goodness. That is so fantastical. Well, I almost, let me not be remiss in mentioning also our health show with Wendy. Hey, that sounds good. Huh? The health show with Wendy. <laughs> You know, see, we're gonna have a lot of good programs reaching out across the community, and this is what this is your channel, folks. Honestly, I'm just keeping it, keeping the seat warm to get here. So you know, we love that, man. So uh, real quickly, Mario, how, how'd you get into this, man? I mean, I know you said that you got on the program doing that, but I mean, what was your main occupation prior to this? I, mean, um, I worked with foster care kids for years. I think in the foster care system, and uh, I found that the the toughest time was when they turned 18 and they were just out on the street. They didn't have uh, anything to do a lot of our foster care in the bump probation or homeless. And so I think figured the best thing I could do is help them get jobs. And so I went from helping foster kids help get jobs. Uh, I helped uh, people that were in jail. We actually had a, a grant, uh, like Wendy's, you know, we get some money then we, we help some people. So we had a grant where I was going into the county jails, the men's jail in, in downtown and the women's jail in, in Linwood. And I would work with inmates that were 18 to 24 interview them, see if they wanted to change. And if they wanted to, I'd work with them while they're during their incarceration and I'd uh, have a job ready for them the day after they got out of jail. And so I'm used to, uh, because of those skills, I'm now, I'm, I can help. If I can help someone coming out of jail get a job, I can help you get a job, so. How come you say jail and you point to uh, Edward? <laughs> I don't know, wait a minute, something's going on here. Eh? I, I thought I recognized it. They're gonna say, hey, <laughs> they're gonna say, come on, ESPN's in the cell. <laughs> Close the door. Yeah, well, that sounds great, man. Well, I'm looking forward to working with you, Mario. I think it's going to be exciting. We're going to do something we've never done before right now. I'm going to bring up our next guest. So I'm going to ask you to unclip and slide down and there clip you yourself go. on that one because I want you up here. We've got to practice hosting here. Sounds good. I'm going to have uh, if uh, Mr. Barnum would come over this way. Let's get a round of applause. This young man has been waiting back there patiently. <laughs> Thanks, sir. There you go, sir. Here. Look at it. Dude, I don't know. You're in show business. You're not supposed to turn your back to the camera. Oh, okay, well, wait. Oh, see, I like his attitude. I don't care. What is he trying to say? 
How you doing? I'm doing HP. great, man. Thank you, Ed. Yeah. Good, good to have you, man. This uh, young man, I got the flyer right here, right in front of me. So I, I did not lose track. This is gonna. Can we get a close up on this? Try to get it a tight shot. This is a. Uh, this is TV production one A. TV. <laughs> close up of shot. Okay, that's the flyer. They're gonna be doing uh, a Valentine's Day tribute to uh, the late great Sam Cook. And uh, so they have all these people that are going to be doing, uh, you know, some of the songs. You got, uh, of course, our buddy Mike Boyd's going to be, he's going to be Sam Cooke for the he's night? He's going to be Sam Cooke for the night. We've got a Richie Valens. We've got a Barry White. We've got a James Brown and a Elvis Presley that night. Wow, man. Yeah. That's great. This is the greatest collection of dead people I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'll be available to Oh, this is great, man. Yeah, you know, really this, this, is, this is like, this is like old I'll home. Be ready. I'll be ready. Yeah, it is. Uh, what I'm tripping out, Ernie Valens, no relation, right? There's Richie's cousin, that's right. Serious? That's right, Richie. Uh, I went to Ernie's house uh, last week, and he, uh, the bed that Richie slept in when he wrote La Bamba, Richie was a good friend of mine. Oh, really? Yeah, this, this is like all one week for me because uh, you're too young, but there was a place oh, here I love called, him already. Get a close-up no, of this man. <laughs> there was El Monte Legion Stadium was here. Right, right, right. And I cut my teeth there playing with the Armenta Brothers and Bobby Ray. And, oh, man. Uh, we had Javier Solis there. I met him there, and I, I, began, I arranged, arranged music for him. I met Juan Torres there. I arranged, so this is like old home for me. I was raised in Aliso. Uh-oh, oh, there so you go, With man. the Howland Bag Junior High. This is old home. Oh, I graduated I'm, from I'm at home right now. You people know. don't know, man. That's, that's in Boyle Heights. <laughs> that's uh, right. I tell you, man. No, I did, a, I did an interview a couple months ago with Art LeBeau. And we oh, were yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, we were talking right, about yeah. the Legion Stadium. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, God, the whole history is here in Almaty, folks. That's right. Sure you is. Know, people forget the Battle of the Bands. This is like that, the East That's right. Town. You know, people had to travel from East L.A. to come over here just to perform. <laughs> literally. So, you know, yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see. All the benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of East Los Angeles that's and Life Choir. That's right. That's fantastic. Let me tell you. Yeah, I know uh, Mike Boyd w was speaking so highly of you. He was telling you that you've known all the greats in your time. Well, I've been very fortunate. I'm a, I'm a musical arranger. I just, I was a, I've been conductor and arranger for Aretha, Blue Rawls, O.C. Smith, Don Ho, uh, like I said, Juan Torres. Uh, I wrote music for a lot of... Uh, I was with Prado for two years. Oh, I, wow. I How about Bob the Center? I love this because I work with Tito Puente, so this made me, this is good. Uh, we, we're also going to have Celia Cruz on our next show. We have a Celia Cruz. Wow, man. Where are you hiding? Are you digging these people up? Or no, actually? I, work, I, work, <laughs> I, work, I I've arranged, I arranged music for all these people. So this is, this is like good for me because I, I have all of the music already. I have all the old music. Well, hey, no, nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, man, you know, because that's, you know, that's the, the queen of, uh, of salsa, man. We have to keep your music alive. You know? That's right. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying, man. You know, that's what we got Bob DeSena. He's like, this guy is going to be a future Hall of Famer, man. That's right. If not already, this guy's a, uh, where do you where do you perform normally at? Pips, right? And where yes. else? Pips on the bread every time. See that? Well, we'll talk about it in a few minutes because I want to make uh, sure uh, I get Pico. it. Yeah, no, you know, I've never been in there. Everybody tells you how great it is. Yeah, you know, it's a place that's right across from I know, I know. My show's is. over, folks. It's right. It Welcome to, to the Bob DeSena Show. Yeah. Okay, but now it's, now it's right there's the gas station. I know where it is. Right there's gas station. That was cool, man. I'll be down there. Oh, I mean, you know what? <laughs> Somebody was asking about you the other day. <laughs> Were they alive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to wonder <laughs> now. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. I'm going to get my seance going here. <laughs> No, this is fantastic. So this is Saturday. We can't mention the price, unfortunately. But we will say that it is Saturday, February 9th at the Madrid Theater, 21622 Sherman Way, Canoga Park, California. You got two great shows starting at 2 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. respectively. This is produced for Sing Boy Records by H.B. Barnum. Next They're to me. They're making me a producer. Right? That's, that's not my first choice, but... He's Mike, Mike's making me work. Yeah, you know why? Because if, if this thing tanks, gets, gets oh no, it's not going to tank. Who they're going to blame, right? It's going to be a great 